What's up guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim, and oh snap, is it gonna be an awesome freaking day? But first, if you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter, link is down there in the description. So guys, welcome back, and uh, today, today we are going to do another mod showcase on a home, and it is right here, Willow Creek cottage that is right you guys so let's check this out inside of the mod inside of the mod load order and here it is you guys willow creek cottage so much stuff inside of this description you guys got to you guys got to read it for yourself cuz i'm not going to read through the whole thing but we'll go over the features together it's got a full smithing station with a custom forge smelter tanning rack workbench grindstone alchemy station enchanting station auto sorting chests teleporting map Custom spells, a study area with uh, a book that will suggest undiscovered places to explore, and study skills give you a bonus. Custom storage, customizable garden, stables, so much stuff inside of this house, guys. It's time we get started. But before we get started, we are next to Riverwood. Same thing as I've said before, everybody should know where, where Riverwood is at. But if you don't, Guardian Stones are right there, Lakeview Manor is right there, Pelagia Farm, White Run Stables, White Run right there, and we. Are right there plus the mod has a uh, an, uh, a symbol on the map once the mod is installed so you just have to look for it and go to it but here we go you guys so let's take a look at the outside first so we got a nice little wood shopping block right here very cool and then we got a bunch of freaking ha uh, like hanging moss on the front porch I'm gonna go ahead and harvest that because I don't like hanging moss on my front porch yeah that looks much better much better all right, got some dragon's tongue. So I actually, ac I actually accidentally walked over here before, but let me show you something. So if we go ahead and harvest this stuff right here, let's go ahead and harvest the cabbages, and then we click on this shovel, it gives you the ability to plant different things. So let's try the red mountain flowers. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Now, what I want to know is what if I swap it to blue mountain flowers and then I swap it back to cabbage okay so see they're not full interesting so you have to wait for them to respawn okay I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't like easily exploitable so once you harvest all of this stuff you gotta wait for it to regrow but that's super cool because you don't have to go through and plant each and every single thing in an individual crop plot you can just go through and, and do that. Just look at that. That looks so pretty. Very cool. And then let's see. What do we got right here? Nice little spot for your horse, probably. And then got a nice little archery. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, what's this? Activate furnace. What would you like to use? Oh, very cool. The smelter. So it's kind of a two-in-one thing. That's kind of cool. Okay, so the smelter and the forge are all the same thing. Very nice. So there's storage for ores, there's storage for leather and pelts, and storage for ingots. Oh wait, no, those are actual ingots. Oh, but here's your storage for ingots. Okay, I gotcha. And then what's this? Blacksmith book. Okay, look at that. Read book. Now what does this do? Fortify smithing added. Dude, no way. How much buy? 5% is, it's all the stuff made is 5% better. That's cool. All right. Search strong box. What do we got? Oh, that's cool. Very nice. All right. Then we got all the essentials, tempering bench, uh, tanning rack, and a grindstone. Okay. So that looks like it's everything outside. Let's go ahead and head in, shall we? Let's, uh, oh, hello. Oh, hello. Maybe we won't head inside just yet. Uh, armory. Oh, there is no way in hell this is underground. What the hell? Oh my god, this is crazy cool. I was not expecting this. Holy hell. A little bit of Z fighting right there, but that's okay. Um, okay, so have some armor mannequins. Wow. And you've got another freaking workbench down here. More armor mannequins. Dragon Priest Mask Storage. Holy Jesus. Got an enchanting table down here. Chests. 
Wow, this is crazy. Weapon plaques instead of weapon uh, weapon racks, which I definitely like more. I like being able to display them on the the on these things more than the the racks. So these don't look to be um, interactable with, but you also have weapon racks right here. But yeah, these don't look like you can use them. I'm not sure. It could just be bugged out. I'm not sure. But holy cow. So you've got a weapon rack right next to an armor mannequin, next to a weapon rack, next to a weapon rack, next, next to an armor mannequin, and so on and so forth. Very cool. Holy cow. I did not expect something this freaking magnificent to be down here. Okay. Now we can go inside the house. Alrighty. Oh, and it's only a novice lock, so you don't necessarily need a key, but you gotta be kidding me, right? It's a novice lock. Solve the lock, Phoenix. Thank you. Good lord. So you don't necessarily need a key, but you do need lockpicks to get in, but it's only a novice lock, so it, even the, the most newbie lockpicking person could get in here. So anyways, welcome to the main room. Here you will find a dining table, food storage, and bookshelves. Over by the cooking area is a cookbook. You can activate it to auto-sort your food if you please. That's badass. Look at this entrance, guys. Look at this. Oh, and look at this. Spell Tome. Teleport home. Very cool. So you've got your own teleport spell back home. All right. Oh, this is nice. I like this little hearth. Got a nice little cooking pot right here. Very cool. And here is the cookbook. Would you like to sort the food? Yes, sort it. Food has been removed. Now I should have no more food. Nope. <laughs> Whoops. That might be uh, for, like, cooked food and stuff like that. But I'm not sure, because it didn't sort any of my food. But that's okay. Unless I just didn't click it right. Food. Food has been removed. Let's double check. Nope, it's still there, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Alright, let's see. What do we have in the cupboard? Alright, just random stuff. So I love all the static, like the storage boxes. You've got storage for apples, potatoes, gourds, and cabbages. Very cool. Bookshelves. Look at this. You've got tons and tons of books. Very cool. This is a book lover's home. And then over here we got an oh hello welcome to the bedroom this is where all the magic happens in here you will find an alchemy station enchanting station study and of course a bed activating the alchemy and enchanting books gave you a bonus activating the study book will give you two options exploration and skills choosing exploration will suggest undiscovered places for you to explore and skills will pull up a list of skills in which you can choose one bonus that is cool Holy hell, this is an advanced house. This is cool. Activate map of Skyrim. Oh, that's cool. There's your freaking teleportation. Oh, hell yeah. That is cool. So you got a whole entire thing for ingredients. Now let's see. Activate alchemy book. Fortify alchemy. Very nice. And I assume it's the same as the smithing. Fortify alchemy. 5% stronger. Hey, 5% stronger, you keep making those potions, those potions are going to get just stacked and stacked and stacked. Activate auto-sort chest. Let's see, auto-sort soul gems, auto-sort ingredients, auto-sort potions, and uh, just do all. There you go. I didn't even see the all one. Okay, let's see. Ingredients. Oh, it removed all the ones that were not from Skyrim or uh, from the Oblivion mod. Very cool. Potions? Indeed, it did everything. Holy cow, that's cool. And then I assume all of my, my soul gems are gone? Yep. All the soul gems are gone. Check that out. Look at that. I love auto-sorting stuff, guys. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's so incredible to me that that's even a thing. Oh my god, that's so damn cool. And then let's see. Activate enchantment book. Fortify enchanting added. Now, where is this book? Activate study. Here we go. So let's see. Auto sort scrolls. Thank you. Appreciate you. Now let's see skills. Which skill would you like to study? Let's try barter. Fortify barter added. Dude! Prices are 12% better. That is crazy! This is so cool! Read blank journal. That's interesting. Why are there blank journals in there? Oh, this is so damn cool, dude. 
So we got a nice little butterfly collection, and I love this study, dude. It looks so nice. But let's see. Uh, oh wait, wrong one. Click on the study book again. I want to click on the book and hit exploration. Travel to Rakund. That's so cool, dude. It gives you side quests. It gives you miscellaneous quests to go out and explore. That is cool. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm like fangirling over this right now. Wait, what is this? Access your chest from anywhere in Skyrim. Oh my god. Oh baby, that's a nice thing. That's a nice thing. That's basically just having mobile storage. That's nice. Oh yeah. Okay, so this room is where you'd probably spend most of your time. Oh my god. This is so cool. I love this house because it's small, but it has everything you could possibly need and more. Oh, this is cool, dude. I would... Oh, God. This makes me want to move here and just live here. Oh, this is so nifty, guys. Okay. So, that's looking like this is everything that this home has to offer. Oh, my goodness. This is way more than I was ever expecting. And it blew me away, guys. This home is incredible. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's mod showcase. In fact, before we end off today's mod showcase, let me double check that I haven't missed anything. And in fact, guys, I don't think I did. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's mod showcase. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys in the next video.